So this is my newest design. It's an owl, obviously. And this was one of those projects where I came up with it while I was sleeping. And then uh, my brain does that sometimes. And then I came up, come up with the details later. So I used just three fabrics. Sometimes I like to just grab a, a limited number of fabrics so I can keep within those constraints because I'm so patchy scrappy usually. So this is a quilting cotton in this navy leafy thing. This is a remnant I had, uh, men's suiting in this plaid. It's kind of a gray and a dark blue, kind of a brownish bronzy. And then this is upholstery fabric for his eyes and the interior and part of the strap. So, the closure obviously is his beak, and it's just a magnetic snap. And these are vintage buttons I use for his eyes. And his wings and his eye, this circle around his eyes, I just left raw so that it would fray a bit and look like feathers around both of those. And then both the both sides of the body of the purse as well as the flap have some fusible fleece to give it some body. And the back is just this solid, awesome plaid tartan. And I did a lot of top stitching to give it some texture everywhere as well as this is another example of when I go overboard with construction <laughs> so I just did regular seams for the sides but then I decided I wanted some more texture on top so then I surged it on top of there and then I decided wait I want more so then I zigzagged too so this thing is never coming apart <laughs> At the top here, which kind of looks to me like his brow, I wanted this to fold pretty nice and have the weight of the fusible flap, just kind of, well obviously the snap helps, but to just kind of hold it down, but I didn't want it to be too bulky up here. So there's no fusible in this, it's just double fabric, but it folds real nicely over and you, kind, you don't have to worry about it kind of weighing it down there. And then I made the strap out of a couple of those fabrics as well. And it's a real nice, comfortable, sturdy strap. And then I attached it with these little tabs and O-rings I got actually at our local uh, tractor supply. Just a real cute little thing that I had in my brain and I think it's a great size for just everyday use. Nine and a half by 11. And as I said, it's, it's a good size to get all you need in there. I'm gonna make a few of these, so stay tuned um, because of course it's not gonna leave my brain right away, so I need to make a bunch of them. So they'll be different colorways or different fabrics altogether. I mean, because of course I work with remnants and scraps. So cute little owl guy that you can name because why wouldn't you? Thanks. <laughs>